Hello everybody, this is Joe Marquez again. I wanted to share with you some hacks on how to really make Google Sites your own. Uh, one of the things teachers uh, have been asking for quite a bit is, is ways to change the fonts in Google Sites. And we all know that you can come over to the right and click on themes and you can change the font up a little bit by clicking here, but it still only gives you a few choices for fonts. What if we really want to make these sites our own and really differentiate these fonts? Maybe make something that pops. Right now, Google site doesn't have anything that's embedded in order for you to do that. But there is a way to do it using the embed code option. Let me share with you what I'm talking about. Um, Google actually has another website called fonts.google.com that lets you come through here and choose all these different fonts. Let's say we wanted to choose righteous. If I click the plus button, I can actually open it up and it will give me the embedded font code down here. Um, so people would think, oh, I can just go ahead and click this, click copy and jump in here, click on the embed and paste it in but that's not going to work. So where are we gonna go with that code? Well, there is a neat little HTML code on how you can actually embed that in. Um, on Google Fonts, you can actually click on how to, and it gives you a quick example of what to type. But this really takes a lot to delve into, especially if you've never looked at the HTML code before. So what I have done for it is I've actually simplified that code um, and actually put some little brackets here um, to tell you what to change. So let's say all we want to do is change the font. Well, all you would do is copy all the way from HTML to HTML. You're going to copy that in. Wherever you see this blue, you're going to, you're going to paste the font name that you found. Um, the big difference between these two fonts right here is when you put the font here, if it's a two word font, you have to put a plus between the two words. If you, if you paste the two words here, do not put a plus make sure it's just a space. You can change the size of the font by changing this number here and right down here in this pink, you're going to type the text that you want. So let's go ahead and take a look at this. I'm going to double click, click embed, choose embed code and click paste. Now, all we're going to do is we're going to change where it says font plus name. I come back to that Google Sites fonts here that we had open. Uh, and I see that it's called Righteous. So all I'm going to do is copy that Righteous. I am now going to come in here and where it says font name here, I'm going to remove these brackets and click paste. Done. And, and since it's only one word, we don't have to worry about that plus or the space option. So I'm going to come in here. I'm going to click paste again. I'm going to make this really big. So let me make this 100. And then now all you're going to do is where it says your text, you're just going to delete that and type. Yes, this is cool with an exclamation mark on it. I'm going to hit next. And you see, we now have our righteous font. I'm going to click enter. And boom, now we have a new font here that we can use. And you can make it smaller, you can move it just like you can anything else, and you have it right there. So that's how you can quickly change the font uh, and the font size. But you can also do something neat as well. On this document, we have another thing that says changing the font and adding a drop shadow. And all we're going to do is add one extra thing called text-shadow right beneath where it says font size underneath the body. You could just copy and paste this whole thing in, but since we have the majority of everything already in, I'm just going to hit copy. I'm going to go back and I'm going to edit this just to include right here text shadow click next and now you can see this shadow right underneath the text as well and this will work for any of those fonts that you find well that's all you know that's pretty neat um, to be able to change that font. So now you can really customize. But now what about some other cool things, right? So um, on this Google font guide, if you scroll down, there's these things called font effects. And this is pretty neat. Look at that fire animation. You have this neon thing going on, this three dimensional. So a lot of cool things. And it took me a while to figure this out. And so I actually created 
everything you need to do for this. The only really addition that's going to happen is underneath where you would actually just only type in the text, you have to add this class uh, and style option down here. And then up to the top, after you type in the family uh, name, you're going to put and effect and then paste in that effect name. But because I've done all of this for you, all you're going to have to do off this sheet is copy all of this over. And you're going to paste. I'm going to go to leave that there. Let's do a whole new one right here so you can see it. I'm going to click embed. I'm going to hit paste. So now we're going to go ahead and choose a different font. So let's come up here and take a look at another font that we can choose. Uh, let's say that we want this uh, Ematic. So I'm going to click on it. I'm going to open it. And so no, notice it says Ematic plus SC. This is where that plus and that space really matter. So I'm going to click copy. I'm going to come in here now. And I'm going to go ahead where it says this family. Look, it has that plus for you. So when you paste it in, it should have that plus there for you. Perfect. And then now down here where it says the font name, we're going to remove the plus and make sure we put a space there instead. Done. I'm going to scroll down as it say font name again right here. Font name. Notice there's no plus. So this is again where we would remove that plus from that animatic. There we go. Anywhere else? No. So now we need to grab the font effect. So I'm going to come back up here and the font effect is in the API name. So I'm going to go ahead and grab, uh, let's go ahead and take a look at, let's do the fire, the fire animation. So you do need that dash in there for uh, when you place them in. So I'm going to go here. Uh, there we go. I'm going to come here where it says font effect. I'm going to remove this and just paste it in. There you go, fire animation. Do it up here on top as well. Fire animation. And now all you have to do, you can change the font size um, right here. I'm gonna go ahead and change this to 172 to make it really big. I'm gonna change the text right here to, we are on fire with a capital, with an exclamation mark, hit next. There we go. I'm going to click insert. And now you have your new font right there. And it is on fire. And if I go ahead and go to a preview of what this page would look like once we've published, you can now see that our fonts are here. And if it's animated, you see we are on fire is there. And so this is a way to be able to really get down to have your sites uh, the best that you want. And I know it's a little bit complicated. That's why uh, in, in the uh, notes for this video, I am going to place a link to this sheet where you can copy and paste um, it right into your Google sites to, to really get going. Now, there's one thing that I could not figure out. So if, if you're listening and you can figure it out, I don't know how to change the color of the fonts. Notice I came in here and, and we said, yes, this is cool. And it's a different font. We have the drop shadow. I do not know where in the code I would type where I would change the color. I thought maybe under style. And, and so I put, you know, font color or text color and I, it just didn't work for me. So if you can figure it out, please uh, tweet me at Joe Marquez seven zero um, or leave a comment here in the, um, in the notes section of this video. And if you can figure out how to add that color, please let me know. Um, I'll give you a shout out on Twitter and, and uh, I'll add the amendment to this um this video and I'll also add the amendment to our Google site fonts, Google doc that I'll be sharing out to you as well. Thank you so much for listening and thank you so much for, you know, taking the time to, to learn how to really make Google sites the best for you and best for your kids as well. Thank you so much. Have a great afternoon.